Hey guys, well today we're going to be doing some simulation and animation in Maya, right? Now, modeling a dent in an object is one thing, but doing it dynamically so it pops up exactly when the event happens, that's a whole different thing. Here we go. Okay, everybody, well, we're in Maya 2020, and we're going to do an FX tutorial today. Now, I enjoy making all my videos, but FX tutorials is always something special. And in this case, because we're going to be creating dynamic dance, I think it's uh, pretty cool. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it as uh, much as I do, right? Okay, so uh, what's the difference between a regular dent and a dynamic dent? Well, let's say you have a trash can uh, sitting on the street somewhere with a dent in it, right? Now, you can pre-make that dent. You can model a trash can and you can put a dent in it. And I'll give you a quick example how that would work. We'll take a uh, polygon plane. We'll let artists scale that up. All right, and let's see. We'll go into the attribute editor and we'll add some subdivision. Let's do 50, oops, not 1050, 50 by 50, yep. Yeah. Let's say you want a dent in here somewhere. We're gonna right click, go to vertex. We're gonna drag select the area where we want the dent. We're gonna hit B for soft select. And then you can hold down B and left click and drag to make the impacted area bigger or smaller, right? Maybe something like this. And then we'll hit W and we'll push that down like so, right? Now, if this were a, a plate of sheet metal, for example, um, yeah, you'd have a pretty nice dent in it. And let me just go in here and turn off the grid so you can see it better. There you go. All right. Now, that is a static dent. That's not what we want. We want it to uh, appear as soon as the object hits it. Now, that's pretty important. I mean, let's say you're working on an animation and a character gets slammed into, uh, I don't know, a shipping container. You want that dent to be the size of the guy that slammed into it. And you want it to, you know, pop up as soon as that happens, not before and not after, right? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a uh, polygon plane once again. Art, scale it up quite a bit. We'll let E to rotate and we'll down J and we'll flip it on one side like so. And that's going to be, let's say, the wall of our shipping container or whatnot. We're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor and let's add some subdivision. Okay, so let's do 50 by 50 which is fine. And what we need to do is we need to turn this into an in-cloth object. So we're going to make sure that we're in our FX menu up here, and then we're going to go up to in-cloth and create in-cloth. Now, what typically happens with an in-cloth object is as soon as you hit play on the animation slider, it will fall. And there he goes. For the simple reason that by default, there is a gravity applied to it. So if I drag select this guy, Hit Control A to open the attribute editor, and we jump to the right. You see that the nucleus right here has a gravity setting of 9.8. Now I don't want uh, the gravity, so I'm just going to hit zero, and we'll have this play out again. As you can see, nothing's happening. Cool, cool. Jump back to frame one. We didn't. We don't need all these frames here, by the way. So let's do. I would say 50. It's fine. Yep. Okay, and 50, and we're gonna turn the looping on, this guy right here. Yeah, loop. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our object, the object that's gonna create our actual dent, right? So let's do a, a sphere. I, don't, um, I know it's not very creative, but you know, it illustrates the point and that's what the video is about, right? Okay, so we're gonna have this sphere slam into the side of the container, leave a dent, and then I want it to back off again so we can actually see the dent, right? So we need to animate this guy. But before we do, let's make this a passive collider for the end cloth object. So we've got the sphere selected. We're gonna shift select this guy. We're gonna go up to the end cloth menu. Make sure you're still in the FX menu here. End cloth, and we're gonna create a passive collider. Okay. So now that we have that, we can animate it. So we're gonna make sure that we're on frame one of our 50 frames, yeah. We're gonna select our sphere and we're gonna keyframe it on frame one. Uh, 
So how do we do that? We hit the letter S, the keyframe, and you see that little red line pop up, right? Okay, so next is we need to animate it towards our shipping container. And I'll do that from this angle right here so I can see it. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to jump to, let's say, frame 25. Yeah, frame 25. I'm going to move this guy forward and we're going to go a little over halfway into the container wall. It's quite a bit. It's actually quite a, yeah, it's a lot. Let's do something like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to S again to keyframe it again. And then I want to back it off. So we're going to go to 50. And I'm going to move it back over here because normally it wouldn't work that way. But I want to see you guys to see the actual dent after it's been created, right? Okay, so we set up a passive collider and everything. So we already should have an effect here, not a dent, but we should have an effect. So let's hit play. Let's see what happens. Boom, there you go. Now, as you can see, it's uh, quite dynamic. The sphere is moving uh, quite fast. But you can see a definite effect on our end cloth. Now, the problem with the end cloth, though, is that it's responding as actual cloth. Now, that's where we need to tweak some settings. So we're going to stop. We're going to jump back to frame one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the loop. Now, reason for that is uh, I just wanted you guys to see how that happens. Uh, but I wanted to do once. I wanted to go in, hit the container, and come back and be clear, right? So let's turn that off yeah there you go and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy we're gonna hit control a and we're gonna go into these dynamic properties so these are in the end cloth shape one tab dynamic properties and we're gonna go through these numbers here so we're gonna leave these alone the 10 and the 0 1 and the 0 and so forth and what we're interested in is the restitution angle and the restitution tension right and also the rigidity Okay, so we're going to go here into the restitution angle. And instead of 360, we're going to set this to 3.9, right? Restitution tension, and this is basically the ability to uh, regain its original shape, if you will, right? And the tension is to resist that. Now, uh, we're going to set that to 0 0.01, okay? And then the rigidity, we're going to set that to 10. And there you go. Okay, so it's all set. So what should happen right now is the sphere should move towards the container. It should slam into it. It should leave a dent. And then the sphere should back off so we can see the dent that has been left behind. Okay, guys, ready? And promise me, if you think it's cool, you have to hit the like button. And you have to subscribe if you didn't do that already. Right? Deal? Okay, here we go and play well there you go guys one dynamic dent it appears exactly after impact and uh, yeah it works so uh, keep in mind that depending on the uh, the mass of the object in this case the sphere uh, if this is a very heavy thing then you need to tweak the settings to get a bigger indentation uh, if the material is not a container but let's say something else you need to tweak that as well but just so you know that these are the settings to play with right so we'll just uh, open that up again and here we go so the ones you want to look at right is the deform resistance basically how well it will resist deforming the rigidity of the material of this plane right here your restitution tension and your restitution angle so that one that one that one and that one right okay guys well that's it for this video have fun playing with this uh, if you come up with something very cool please uh, post the link below and i'll certainly check it out right well thank you guys so much for watching see you guys next time bye